There are 135 recognized minorities in Burma, officially named Myanmar, but the Rohingya are not among them. Rohingya means inhabitant of Rohingya in the Rohingya dialect. Rohingya is the former name of the Rakhine state in northern Burma, also known as Arakan state, where most of the 1 to 1.3 million Rohingya live nowadays. There is proof that Rohingya have been living in Rakhine since the 8th century, yet the Burmese government claims that Rohingya are illegal immigrants from Bangladesh. On the basis of this claim, the government deprived the Rohingya of their citizenship. This decision has tremendous consequences on the daily life of the Rohingya, who cannot travel without a permit and need an official authorization to get married. Discriminatory policies against Rohingya are no recent problem. In 1962, the military executed a coup and took over power, building a dictatorship in which minority rights were restricted to a large extent. This regime prevailed until 2015, when a civilian government was elected. The National League for Democracy, NLD, led by Nobel Peace Prize laureate Aung San Suu Kyi, became the country's strongest political force. During her house arrest, which lasted over 20 years, Aung San Suu Kyi had become a symbol of hope in Burma. Her electoral victory brought strong hopes for positive changes. Yet, Aung San Suu Kyi, as de facto head of the first civilian government in Burma, has pursued previous Rohingya policies of the military junta by denying allegations of human rights violations and forbidding the use of the term Rohingya. The conflict in northern Rakhine state has been escalating for the last few months. In October 2016, following attacks on three border guard police posts by unknown armed men, the army responded with a punitive action against Rohingya villagers. According to eyewitnesses, military personnel searching for insurgents have been attacking Rohingya villages at random, firing and killing indiscriminately and raping 192 women and girls within four weeks. In December 2016, a video showing Burmese police officers beating Rohingya men was disclosed. Further reports evoke arbitrary arrests and the destruction of hundreds of buildings. Local inhabitants and human rights organizations have raised concerns about crimes against humanity. Since the outbreak of the violence, tens of thousands of Rohingya have fled to neighboring Bangladesh, Malaysia, Indonesia and Thailand. 65,000 people fled to Bangladesh since October 2016, 22,000 of them only in the first week of January 2017. Yet Bangladeshi authorities have refused to take in the refugees in violation of international law, forcing the majority of Rohingya refugees to hide in order to avoid deportation. Discrimination, oppression and the restrictions on access to neighboring countries make Rohingya highly vulnerable to smuggling and human trafficking networks. They need to pay large amounts of money to smugglers to get to their destination countries in overcrowded boats. Victims of smuggling and human trafficking networks experience dire conditions such as physical, mental or sexual abuse, hunger and dehydration. Aung San Suu Kyi received a lot of criticism from several governments but also from other Nobel laureates who called on her to avoid a human tragedy. Under these circumstances, Aung San Suu Kyi decided to set two commissions tasked with the investigation of the events and the development of a long-term solution to the conflict. The first commission is led internationally by former UN General Secretary Kofi Annan the second is led nationally by former senior officers of the military. The results of the latter commission are to be released soon, while the results of the former commission will be published in the second half of 2017. Both commissions have avoided to speak of crimes against humanity so far, even though many signs seem to indicate that a genocide is unfolding in northern Rakhine state. The United Nations Special Rapporteur on the Situation of Human Rights in Burma, Yang Yi Lee, has repeatedly expressed her concerns about the situation of Rohingya in Burma. She was therefore subject to pressure from Buddhist hardliners. What can be done for Rohingya? A twofold approach is needed in order to alleviate the plight of Rohingya. On the one hand, a humanitarian solution is required. Relief organizations need unrestricted access to northern Rakhine state and to Rohingya refugees in Bangladesh and other destination countries. On the other hand, a political solution is expected from the Burmese government in order to re-establish confidence between the authorities and the Rohingya. A first crucial step would be to lift restrictions on the freedom of movement of Rohingya. This would contribute to reducing the marginalization of the community and alleviate its plight. Furthermore, the 1982 law on citizenship should be abrogated. This would signify the acknowledgement of the status of Rohingya as citizens of Burma and grant them the same rights as other Burmese citizens. Created using Powtoon.